Alexander family is about to hear from Travis's killer, Jody Arias, in her own words, addressing the court, the kind of words that still br bring back tremendous rage for Mark Class. Just don't do me like my dad. I have to pay my dues, and so should Burn you. Hell, Davis. Mark Class joining me now live out of San Francisco. We're going back two decades. Yeah, Mark, I remember talking to you that day. Bring me back to the rage you felt at that moment as a dad. Well, you know, he had already killed my daughter, and I heard some noises coming out of my mother who was two seats away from me, and I thought, this son of a bitch is killing my mom right now, and I, I exploded. I really did. I got up, I made a lunge for the, for the defendant, and was escorted out of the courthouse. What did you want to do to him? I wanted to kill him. Are you kidding me? After what he had done and the way he'd assassinated my character, I just wanted him dead right there, right now. So if he would have stood up, looked at you, and said, I'm sorry, I have remorse, would that have even mattered to you? No, it doesn't matter. In the context of this trial, I mean, this is his family has sat through many months of them assassinating the character of their beloved brother. Every word that comes out of her mouth is a lie. I think it matters not what she says on the stand today. I suppose they would like to see her grovel and beg a little bit, but who knows if that'll happen. So do you think Travis's family wants an I'm, I'm sorry, or do you think they, they don't care? They've made up their mind. Oh, I don't think it matters one way or the other, because I don't think if she said I'm sorry, they could believe a word that she says. You know, Travis's brother and sister, they're having anxiety attacks. They feel guilt. They can't sleep. Do you, two decades later, more than that, still, are you haunted by Richard Allen Davis's face, his voice, those words from court? No, I'm not. And I'll tell you why, Kara. I have to put this guy behind me. As victims of violent crime like this, we have to find ways to move forward. The way I did it was to create meaning out of Paulie's death, to keep my family close to me, to find a psychologist that worked very, very well with me. And now I'm able to smell the flowers and find beauty in life again. Mm -hmm. And this guy has very, very little impact on my life. And I would, I would suggest that they follow a similar path if they have an opportunity to do that. What do you say to Travis Alexander's family, in particular, brother and sister who we've watched and listened to? Sure. Well, I would say you don't have to let go of your anger. You can hate this woman as much as you want for the rest of your lives. You don't have to forgive. I personally believe that forgiveness is far overrated in our society. And quite frankly, the only person that should be able to forgive Jody Arias would be Travis. And unfortunately, she slaughtered Travis. So now, Jody Arias, she may get life, she may get death. Um, do you want to watch Richard Allen Davis die? I'd get great pleasure out of it. It would bring joy to my heart. And I would hope that the jury, and I believe they will do the right thing, I would hope that the jury will sentence this woman to death because she deserves the worst possible sentence, the ultimate sentence, for having committed the ultimate crime.